a young man from the countryside, crafted a wind-powered water pump using PVC pipes to aid his elderly grandfather in irrigating the farmland. It operates solely on wind power, without oil or electricity. Start by preparing a PVC pipe with a 110mm diameter and cut it to 200cm. Simultaneously, cut a hollow iron pipe to the same length. Subsequently, proceed to cut the remaining PVC pipes into sections and then carefully split each section in half. Afterward, position them over charcoal to apply heat and soften them, which will yield several straightened, flat PVC sheets. Utilize the drill to cut the prepared PVC sheets into circular shapes, and then drill a hole precisely in the center of each circular sheet. Upon completion of this task, draw a precise straight line along the edge of each individual plastic sheet and employ an angle grinder to carefully cut a notch. Utilize a high-temperature heat gun to apply heat to each sheet, then skillfully bend it in an upward and downward motion to create a spiral configuration. The quantity of spiral sheets required is dictated by the specific design of the previously mentioned hollow iron pipe. Next, find a discarded motor. Here, you need to disassemble the motor and obtain the two round washers on the outside and the connecting shafts at both ends of the central rotor. These two components will be installed on the previous iron pipe. First, cut notches at both ends of the iron pipe, then bend them downwards to wrap around, and then weld the two shafts onto it. The washers are fixed at the ends of the shafts. The subsequent step involves affixing the spiral film that was previously crafted onto this hollow iron pipe. While securing it, make certain that each individual piece of film is able to interconnect with one another to form an entire and complete propeller. After these steps, find two caps matching the water pipe's size and drill a center hole. The hole should let the previous iron pipe pass through. Secure the washers outside the cap with screws, then attach them to the water pipe. On the water pumping end, drill a circle of holes in the cap for an inlet, then place the propeller inside. Create a circular opening at the uppermost part of the pipe and securely attach a segment of pipe onto it to establish the inlet pipe. The primary components of this water pumping device are now assembled. Subsequently, take the device outdoors to evaluate its actual water pumping performance. Given the absence of a power device at present, a handheld drill is utilized here as the power source. It can be seen that the water can be quickly pumped using the drill's starter device, which indicates that this device has been successfully made. Finally, you only need to use some PVC pipes to create a base stand for the water pumping device, allowing it to be stably fixed on the water surface during operation. Meanwhile, a few galvanized square tubes and some PVC pipes can be used to make a wind-powered driving device, completing the setup. Install the finished wind-powered device on top of the water pumping device. The wind-driven mechanism allows the internal propeller to maintain a stable rotation, thus enabling water pumping. The usage method is also very simple. Just place the device at the outlet of a water source and connect a hose. The wind-driven mechanism will then drive the internal propeller to pump water. I wonder what everyone thinks of this wind-powered water pumping device.